Modes of solving equations with rational functions, day number two. So students will be able to solve for equations with rational functions. So sometimes when we are solving equations with rational functions, we could come across two or multiple answers. And today we will look at those scenarios when we come across multiple answers. So it's the exact same process as the, night, the notes before you guys, but now we're going to deal with quadratic functions or situations where we'll get more than two answers. So let's take a look at example one. Okay, the first step, you guys, is to figure out what is the excluded value. So the excluded value for this, you guys, is zero because if x was zero, then you guys will have an undefined fraction. So x cannot be zero. <clears throat> Then we find the LCD. So look at the two different factors of 6 and x. So multiply them together. <coughs> 6 and x are two different, completely different factors. So there's that. So the next step, you guys, is multiply by the LCD that we just found. So 6x times this. So distribute this, you guys, to each one. 6x times this, you guys, the 6 is cancel, so all you guys have is x times x for x to the second. Multiply this times this, you guys, the x cancel, so all you guys have is 6 times negative 6 for negative 36. And then 6x times 0, you guys, is just 0. So when we have quadratics, you guys, always set it equal to 0 and then factor. Here, we can do the difference of squares. So we get x plus 6 times x minus 6. And the answer for this one, negative 6, the answer for that factor is x equals 6. Remember, what value of x will make both of those 0? So that's an answer. And please make sure, you guys, it doesn't relate to this excluded value. Example 2. OK, x cannot be 0, because if these were 0, that would make the fractions undefined. LCD, it's x to the second power. These have the same factor of x, but one of them has a higher degree, which is x squared. So multiply the whole thing by x to the second, multiply it by the LCD, and then distribute it to each one. The reason why we're multiplying by the LCD, you guys, it's so that it eliminates each denominator, which means no more fractions. x squared times 1 x to the second, x to the second times this, you guys, one x cancels from top and bottom. So you'll still have an x up top. So what's x times negative two? That would be negative two x equals x to the second times this, you guys, the x to the seconds cancel, so you just have 48. So because we're dealing with quadratics, set the equation equals zero. So subtract 48 from both sides, this cannot combine with either of these two because this is an x squared term, this is an x term, so we're going to slide them over to the left and put the negative 48 right <coughs> there. <coughs> and then when you guys have this, factor this by using your guys's x method, right? Negative 8 times 6. x minus 8 times x plus 6. And the answer for this one is x equals 8. The answer for this factor, x equals negative 6. And please make sure your answers do not match up with the excluded value. Example 3. <clears throat> so, um, <coughs> we have to find our excluded. So x, you guys, cannot be 0, because if this was 0, then this whole thing would be... Uh, a fraction of a number over 0 and this cannot be 2 because if this was 2 you guys 2 minus 2 would be 0 so we don't want that right we do not want our fractions to be um, over 0 LCD multiply your guys the fa different factors together so it's x times x minus 2 so that is what we're going to multiply through the entire thing this times this, you guys, is just x times x minus 2. This times this, no, sorry, this. And x cancels from top and bottom, so it's 12 times x minus 2. And this times this, you guys, x minus 2 cancels, so it's 12 times x for 12x. Distribute, distribute, 
x squared minus 2x plus 12x minus 24, you guys, equals 12x. Combine like terms, so we get x squared plus 10x minus 24 equals 12x. Now, since we're dealing with quadratics, set this equals to 0. So subtract 12x from top and from bottom. x squared minus 2x minus 24 equals 0. And this is something you guys can factor by doing x method. Negative 24, negative 2, negative 6, and 4. x minus 6 times x plus 4 is equals to 0. So x has to equal 6, x got equals to negative 4. And please remember, both of those cannot match up with that. If it does, then that means you'll have an extraneous solution, which is not a solution to our problem. Okay, example 4. So first, we need to factor this out, you guys. x plus 7 times x minus 7. That's the square rootable stuff, right? <coughs> Difference of squares factoring. So x cannot be 7, because if that was 7, that would be 0. And x can't be negative 7, because if that was negative 7, that would also be 0. You cannot have a 0 be in the denominator, right? Something over 0 is undefined. LCD, all the different factors I see is x plus 7 times x minus 7. So multiply the whole thing, you guys, by the LCD and cancel from top and bottom if you can. So that times that, you guys, these cancel. So all that's left is the 14 in the numerator equals this times this, you guys, the x minus 7 cancel. So all that's left is 2 times x plus 7. And this times this, you guys, the x plus 7s cancel, so that just leaves negative 3 times x minus 7. Distribute, distribute, so we get 14 equals 2x plus 14, negative 3x plus 21. Combine like terms, so we get 14 equals negative x plus 35. And now, because we're dealing with... Um, degree of 1, so let's get variables on one side and constants on the other. So I'm going to move my constant to the left, so we get negative 21 equals negative x. And then you guys divide both sides by negative 1. So ultimately 21 equals x, but you can also write that as x equals 21. Okay. So, <clears throat> those are the examples. So you guys should definitely try the doyos by yourself, and then once you guys are ready, I would suggest you play the video so that you guys can get the rest down. Okay, so for number one, um, first say what x is cannot be. And x cannot be zero, because if this was zero, then you guys will have some a fraction over zero. So x can't be zero. The LCD, look at the different factors of the denominators. 5 and x, so it's 5x. So then take the LCD and multiply it to each term. So we got 5x times this, you guys. The x cancels, so 5 times 5 is 25. Plus 5x times x over 5, you guys. The 5s cancel, so x times x is x squared equals 5x times negative 2, guys, negative 10x. So because we're dealing with quadratics, let's set this whole equation equals 0, so add 10x to both sides. Now notice, you guys, none of, none of these can combine <coughs> like terms. So put the highest degree in the front, and then the next highest degree, and then the constant. So this is something you guys can factor. Two things, I multiply to 25, but when add gives you guys 10, that's 5 and 5. So x plus 5, 10 to x plus 5 equals 0. Solve for x, x equals negative 5. And an even better answer would be if you guys wrote x equals 5, negative 5, multiplicity of 2. Because there was two x plus 5 factors, which means there's two answers of negative 5. Okay, this one. First, write down what x cannot be. 
x cannot equal to 3, because if it was 3, then it would be 3 minus 3, which would give you guys 0 in the denominator, which is very bad. That's undefined. LCD, you guys, look at the different factors. It's 2 times 3 minus x. So multiply the whole entire equation by 2 times 3 minus x. So distribute this to both of these. This times this, you guys, the 2's cancel, so all you're left with is 3x times 3 minus x. Multiply this, you guys, to this. The 3 minus x cancels, so you just have 2 times x plus 1. Distribute, distribute, so you guys get 9x minus 3x squared equals 2x plus 2. Now because we're dealing with quadratics, move both of these to the left hand side. So negative 3x squared, move, I'm going to move my highest degree to the front, plus 7x equals 2, subtract 2 to both sides, negative 3x squared plus 7x minus 2 equals 0. Now let's factor out a negative sign, you guys, because I don't like my leading coefficient to be positive. And then we have to factor, but we gotta factor this because a is greater than 1 factoring. a times c, which is 3 times 2 is 6, b value is negative 7. The two numbers are multiplied to 6, but when add together, give you guys negative 7. <coughs> That's negative 6 and negative 1. So Factor this by grouping, so 3x to the second, minus 6x minus x plus 2. Group, group. Factor out a 3x to get x minus 2. Factor out a negative 1 to also get x minus 2. 3x minus 1 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now let's find our zero. 2, to do this one you guys, add 1, divide by 3. That's one third. Add one, divide by three. And make sure it does not match up with the <coughs> excluded value. If it matches up, then that means those would not that would not be an answer, and that's what you call extraneous. Okay, last one for today. This you guys you can factor into being x plus three times x minus three. So x can't be negative three or three. Because if you guys plug in either of those in to these respectively, then you guys will get zero. And a fraction cannot be over zero. Um, LCD is x plus 3 times x minus 3. So what you guys got to do is multiply this whole thing by x plus 3 times x minus 3. This times this, you guys, the x plus 3s cancel, so it just leaves 6x times x minus 3. This times this, you guys, the x minus 3's cancel, so it's 4 times x plus 3. And this times this, you guys, the x plus 3 and my x minus 3, they both cancel, so you just have 3x. Distribute, distribute, so we get 6x squared minus 18x plus 4x plus 12 is equal to 3x. Combine like terms, so you guys get 6x squared minus 14x plus 12 equals 3x. Because we're dealing with quadratic means degree of 2, we gotta set this equals to 0. So subtract 3x from both sides. So this is what we're gonna get. And now we have to factor this because a is greater than 1 factoring. A times C, so 6 times 12 is 72, negative 17 on bottom. The two numbers that multiply to top, but when added gives you guys the bottom, that's negative 9 and negative 8. But because A is greater than 1, you guys got to factor this by grouping. So 6x squared, these are the combination of the middle term, so minus 9x minus 8x, and lastly the last term, plus 12. Group, group, factor out a 3x to get 2x minus 3, factor out a negative 4 to also get 2x minus 3. 3x minus 4 times 2x minus 3 is equals to 0. Now solve for x. Here, add 4, divide by 3, so that is going to give you 4 thirds. Here, add 3, divide by 2, that's going to give you guys 3 halves. 
and those will be your guys' answer. And make sure it doesn't match up to this, right? So that is how you guys solve for your linear, uh, sorry, your rational equations, okay? So make sure you guys do this, and good luck on the homework, okay? Good luck, you guys. Peace.